Hey y'all, my name is Holly. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new coming over from my friend Miranda's page, then I wanted to give you a big welcome and I'm so glad to have you here. If you love this kind of video whenever you finish it, then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. I'd love for you to stick around. If you're new, then comment down below and introduce yourself so I can see all the new friends that I made. So Miranda and I have actually collabed several times before and I love collabing with her. She's like one of my best friends. I love her. I met her through YouTube and we have just clicked we have hit it off and i just love her i love hearing her creative thoughts and whenever i'm like not knowing what to do what to vlog next or what to do in my house next i'll call her and we are able to bounce ideas off of each other and she is so sweet i love love her and she just has that like sweet southern old-timey soul that I just love. This video is actually an idea that we came up with and it is going to be like an end of summer decorate with us. So we feel like after um, 4th of July, I think both of us kind of get tired of our 4th of July decorations. We just want to like simplify things and honestly we both kind of start thinking about fall. I'm not ready to decorate for fall yet and I'm not rushing through the last couple of months of summer but I just know my mind goes there. I feel like now is a good time for me to go through and really declutter a lot of things and just freshen up my space and sell a lot of things, donate a lot of things. That, that way I'm able to bring in more things whenever it's fall and Christmas season gets here. So I feel like now is a great time to be going through your house decluttering a lot. So whenever those holidays get here, you're not just bringing more stuff into your home. Today's video is going to be sharing with y'all me packing away my patriotic stuff and sharing with y'all how I am moving all the things around. Like I have seriously pulled from everywhere and starting over decorating all the sections of the house with new pieces. So it's not me having the same things in one location all the time. So that is what I'm going to be doing. And then also I was going to mention some ideas that you may want to do for your home. So I have gathered a few ideas from youtubers and pinterest and here's a few of them so the first one is if you have kids going back to school i think it is a great idea to have a little place set up in your house or multiple little vignettes and that is like a back to school theme so i'm thinking like globes and old books maybe some old flashcards, desk apples and just kind of putting somewhere visual and just setting it up where it's real cute to just kind of get everybody kind of in the mood for back to school i do not have kids so i'm not doing that to our home i'm going for or more of this look that I love this idea. So this idea is someone on YouTube and I just kind of twisted it a little bit. So she was saying for her end of summer, think of like a cabin look, like a lake house cabin. So whenever I think of cabin, I think of like fall in the mountains or winter in the mountains, but I love I was able to put a twist on it and I'm thinking of like all cabin on the lake. So I'm thinking of bringing in the colors of nature during that time, which is the dark blues and the dark greens. And so I was thinking maybe even getting a blanket that was plaid that was those colors to bring in. And I found one on Amazon and hopefully it'll be here where I can show it to you before the end of this video. On my Instagram page, I was asking people over there for ideas for end of summer decor and a lot of you said sunflowers and I thought that was a great idea. I do have them growing in my yard right now but they're not ready to be able to be cut down and brought into the house so I'm going to go find some sunflowers to decorate our home with. Just a few, maybe just like one in one vase. No, I'm not going crazy with sunflowers. Just a little jar of them and then that's it. If you're not following me over on Instagram, be sure to check me out at Simply Lake and Lace because I have lots of videos over there that I do everyday stories where it's like day in the life with me. And then I also I ask for y'all's help a lot on different things like this whenever I need some fresh ideas. So I shared with y'all some little picture ideas off of Pinterest and all. You have to use your imagination. Take away the Christmas trees, the pumpkins, and just think of those colors and metals and woods that I was thinking of and combine them together to make like a cabiny feel for summer. Next Wednesday is going to be us collabing again for an end of summer home tour. Raise your hands in the comments below if you're excited about this video because I'm not real sure if I've ever seen anybody do a end of summer home tour. If you have, please let me know who it is and what they're doing because I would love to get some inspiration because I need all the inspiration from this that I can get. Also, if you have any more ideas added on along to what I have already shared with y'all, please let me know in the comments down below because like I told y'all, I need all the ideas I can get from this because I've never heard of this before and I am so excited to roll with it. So let's go get started. So I will start in this chaos of a room, the office. The office always gets destroyed and my goal is to have this thing I did have it cleaned up, but now I've made it a mess again, and I need it cleaned up before fall and Christmas time gets here. So, and this, I have bicycles in here that my friend's got to come get. So, in here is my closet that I store all kind of seasonal decor, and so I'm trying to get that cleaned out too. So, 
right here this is all the fake greenery that i had all over the house so i have pulled all of this and went ahead and packed it up in this spring box i have pulled the spring and summery plates i've honestly taken anything that screamed it's spring or summer and i'm packing it away and just decorating with neutral colors and then also right here is all of my 4th of July decorations and so go get another box to finish packing all this away. A lot of you always ask me where I store this stuff. My mother-in-law has a huge basement and I cleaned out a section and that's where I keep all of my seasonal decor. I honestly want Drew and I to go find a big cute like she shed building to go store to go buy and put everything in the back of the house and then kind of decorate the outside of the she shed all cute and have all the stuff in here until one day we're able to build and i'm going to have a huge closet dedicated for all of my seasonal decor so that is where i store things right now and that is what i want to do in the future and then all of this stuff is things that or not all of it it's um, like I'm not getting rid of these, but a lot of this stuff is stuff that I'm about to sell or donate. And so I'm just starting that pile right here. And like I said, not all of it is just um, a start. So I'm definitely not getting rid of these. I think the rest of it I am though. So that is what we're doing. This office is about to get crazy, but the rest of the house is getting decluttered. The noise in the background. I actually turned the heat on to get the chill out of the house because I'm a little chilly. Don't tell Drew. He will kill me that I have the heat going in the dead of summer. Another thing that I did is I took everything from around the house because I'm wanting to redecorate each little tabletop and surface. So, uh, I already started working on some last night. I was up till 11 because I laid down to get some inspiration off Pinterest. And whenever I had all these ideas, I had to get up. I could not wait until today to finish this so i got up and started playing around with some things late last night do y'all do that y'all just get that itch to get up during the middle of the night and start decorating so that's what i did so i pulled everything from around the house and i put it on an island so find a big table in your home and just collect everything on there and just start over fresh so let me show you what i'm talking so lots about lots of different tabletops i pulled everything off of it and I can't show you all of them because I've already kind of started playing around with them, but this one is empty. So I pulled everything from it and made a clean slate and then I started pulling decor from my kitchen island to redo an area. So shop your home, that is so much fun. But I feel like for me to actually see the ideas and be able to pull things, I have to take everything up and put it on the island because if I don't, I'll move thing, one thing from here, one thing from there, and it'll still kind of look the same. So my advice for you is go to your house, pull everything that you want to look different. Like if you want a coffee table, if you want a little end table, if you want your dresser, if you're wanting all that, if you're wanting those spaces to look different, take everything off of them, wipe them down clean, and then start pulling from your little shopping area. And my little shopping area is the island. And whenever I took everything off before I put things back, I'm using my All Natural Thieves Cleaner. If you want to know more about Young Living Things, you can send me an email at simplylakeandlace at yahoo.com. And I love to help you out. Most of the time, I just end up giving you my phone number so we can text because it's just so much easier to communicate that way. But I use this to clean everything in my house. This is an all natural plant cleaner. So this is, it's a very effective cleaner. It has clove, eucalyptus, cinnamon bark, rosemary and lemon in it and i added a little bit more a lemon essential oil because this is a really good cleaner to clean with in the fall and like christmas time because it's kind of like a warm cinnamony scent but to really make it more citrusy i add some lemon or orange essential oil to it and i'm just using this to spray down my surfaces and wipe down everything so it smells really good in here and i have my diffusers going also i've moved a few things around over here and I knew I wanted this diffuser back in here, my white Aria back in my bathroom. So I have this new Luscious Lemon that Young Living just came out with and it smells divine. I love it. So I have this going in, this Desert Mist diffuser. And I will back up and show you what I have put together for this little space. So I think I'm gonna get, they have a candle flicker too for this. But I don't know, maybe we'll keep on the candle. I kind of like the bright light too. So this is what I did over here. And I think I love it. It kind of gives me that like lake summery southern vibe. But then also have this cute little briefcase that I got. Kind of looks like a little suitcase. Like packing your bags to go to the cabin. 
and then I love this little diffuser set up right here and I love this boat so I had this out with my beach scene but I thought it was perfect for the, like the little lake thing too and then right here in this jar I will end up putting sunflowers in here and I think that behind the couch is done I love how that looks it kind of warmed it up bringing in the terracotta pot the suitcase and then that basket down there and then when I add those sunflowers, it'll be the perfect touch. Also, this is the blanket. It came in. I loved this colors. I think it's really going to help tie in that little cabin vibe that I was going for. So I'm loving these colors for end of summer. I think they're so pretty. So I'm going to figure out how to incorporate this in here in the living room. And then I also have some velvet green pillows I may either put back in the living room or put in the bedroom. So we'll go work on that now. So let's talk about these two spaces real quick. This corner space, or I like, I guess, a little nook space, and this one. So I was thinking I was going to take down all of this stuff because I've had it up here ever since during I moved into this double wide and I just feel like I'm kind of tired of it so I and it's just so cluttery looking so I thought taking it all down and just putting like a big picture right there and that's it but now as I'm decorating our home for kind of that cabiny feel it kind of helps bring that together so um, I'm not real sure but I am wanting to swap up some pieces from here and here no that the clock, the candlesticks, and the lanterns will always stay there. It's just easy statement pieces that I can reuse for each season. So I do love those. The bottom part of the fireplace, I've got to redo. So I finally got this part over here figured out. Look at my slippers. I got to clean up some of the foliage that fell off the fern. And then I ended up bringing this little fish bowl that I had. And I put this little fake fish in here that I got from Petals. So I put this over here too. And I think I may keep this for a little bit longer change it up for the fall maybe I don't know y'all let me know give me some ideas what to do over here and then I want to take down this eucalyptus stuff and just have the clock nothing else up here so that can be ready for fall whenever it gets here and then I don't know what I'm doing in this space yet I'm still working on it down here I did put I had a lot of these little oil lamps and so I just felt felt like this just looked like a cute little camping vignette so I put this here and up top, like I said, I'm just not quite sure. It's cute like it is, but it needs something. So those oil lamps came off of the top of this. And I wanted to redo the top of this also. So still playing around with things. See my mess over here. Okay, next space that I think that I'm going to work on is right up here. So I think that I'm going to take all of my copper pieces that I have. I've had them in this corner cabinet for a while. And I changed up the corner cabinet, still working on it. But I think that I'm going to put all my copper pieces back up here and add in some more plants up there too. So we'll see what we can come up with. I did end up putting this little atrium that I've had for a while over here with this single plant in it. I may change it out again to something else. But I like the idea of having the atrium and then the little double over here full of the vegetables that we've been harvesting from the garden. This is what I did up here. I just put a few of my copper pieces, not much up here at all. And then down here, I don't know if I'm going to put a wreath or a, a saying or like a quote or something with chalk or just leave it black. I'm not really sure if y'all have any ideas on that. And then I'm not totally satisfied with the buffet table, so I'll keep working on that. And then I did get my flowers. Y'all know that I have a monthly subscription each month um, to my local floors, and they send me flowers each month. So this is a little bouquet. I send them a total of, like I told them, that I wanted to spend between $20 to $30 each month. So they just um, send me either a big arrangement or a small one. So I just have this little simple hydrangea with some foliage. And right now I'll just have it in this mason jar, and that's my centerpiece. I'm not really worried about the table because I haven't even found my chairs and stuff. So... Right now, it's just looking at very simple and bare compared to what I usually do. But I'm trying to simplify some things, and it's really still more than what I wanted. So I'm going to play around. And then over here, I shut these doors. I thought I was going to take the doors off. Y'all know I've been back and forth about taking these doors off for forever. So we shall see if I end up changing up anything. I just feel like if I take the doors off, you're going to be able to see every little thing that's in there. And it's going to even make this space even feel more cluttered. So... I'm so wishy-washy on what I want to do with that corner piece. And then over here on the couch, this will probably change up too, I think. This is what I just have thrown together for right now. So I ended up bringing the green pillows in here. I, I wanted the green and the blue, but they weren't looking right together. And then I have this blanket just thrown here. So this is going to be more kind of the touch green. And then the little blue that's in the rug 
the blanket and the little blue willow vase right there. So let me show you what I did with the blue pillows. In the bedroom, I'm still working on this top piece. I want to, I took everything off of it besides these two pieces and I want to play around with it a lot more because I want to um, have this little piece totally redone on the top. And then over here, I haven't finished, but I'm thinking I'm going to make this like the blue room where I'm going to have just a bunch of blue pillows, pops of blue, because I love that. I think it's so pretty looking. So I think that's what I'm going to do to this bedroom. My dressers are not stands. I want to do something a little bit different and the top of the fireplace, something a little different. So I guess we'll work in here Let now. Let me show y'all my mess. So I have a huge pile of stuff in here that I'm going to sell or get rid of. I have two bicycles in here. This one, Griffin's coming to get it soon, and that'll be out of here. And then I'm going to be posting all of this stuff on my Facebook, on my personal Facebook page. So if you're local, a lot of you get first dibs on that. And then I'll see if my mom or sister or anybody else wants any of it. But I'm feeling pretty good because this is a lot of stuff that I'm getting rid of, and I'm still adding to it. Okay, so I may not have everything in the house completed, but I hope that I gave y'all lots of ideas and inspiration to run off of. But I do have one piece that I am finished with, so I'll go ahead and share with y'all that. I'm going to share with y'all the before and then the after on how I decorated it for the end of summer. And it is the piano. So I've stripped it down and I ended up making this just the piece that was more of the little beachy area. So I had the seashells up here and I have this little pompous grass or I don't know, it's a mixture of all kind of little coastal stems in here that I got at Old Town Market. And I need to turn my diffuser on in here, the Aria. But once it's going, it just looks so clean and crisp in here. And I love the way that it looks. And then I have just this little green church handle on it and my driftwood right here with some oils to use for my diffuser. So I love the way that this turned out in here. Okay, friends, so this is going to be the end of this video. Again, don't forget this is a collab with Miranda, so go over and check out her video to see kind of what she's doing and how she's decorating her areas for the end of summer. And then also don't forget for our collab that we're going to have next Wednesday for y'all that is going to be a end of summer home tour. So hopefully I'll get everything sold, donated, or trashed that I just do not want anymore so I can start over new, get that office space cleaned up. That is the goal to get that finished up this week. And then I'm probably going to go hit up some stores just to add in a few more pieces that I might need for some empty spaces in the house now since I feel like I have got rid of a bunch of stuff. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video with me today. If y'all have any more ideas for me on where I could put things or what I need to be buying to kind of go with the theme that I'm kind of wanting to go for. I hope that y'all have a great rest of your week. I cannot wait to see y'all next one for the end of summer home tour. Thank y'all so much for watching and have a good day. Bye y'all.